hello, hello, hello. You are tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's first topic, if you haven't heard, DeAndre Hopkins, yeah, he's a chief. Look. So forever uh, was able to see the live stream. I was actually able to go live streaming this morning. We discussed the acquisition of a DeAndre Hopkins to a Patrick Mahomes um, for about almost two hours. And <clears throat> we talked about, you know, how could the Titans let it happen? How could they give him away for a fifth? I mean, let's be real. He, they gave him away for a Happy Meal. No toy. Like, it, 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 it's incredibly ridiculous. But here's my thing. And I, and I really want to say this. I'm still not scared of the Kansas, the Kansas City Chiefs. Like, at all. Like, I'm not scared of them. And there's a couple of mitigating reasons why. But one of the main reasons I'm not is one name. Patrick Mahomes. Look. I forgot who said it. I think it was Bill Parcells that said it. But it came out pretty much that you are what your record says you are. Yeah, I remember the year where the, the Pittsburgh Steelers won like 11 straight games. Y'all remember that? And they were just finding the most creative ways to win. It was like 11 straight games. I think it was like the last season or the, or the second to last season of Ben Roethlisberger. And then they ended up going 11 and 6 or 11 and 5 at the end and lost like 4 or 5 straight. I think that the Chiefs are going to be coming down hard very soon. And the, re and the reason why is the same name I told you, Patrick Mahomes. Look, guys, you are what you say your record are, and stats are for losers. Not these stats. I want to make sure that you understand what I'm, what I'm saying here, right? Patrick Mahomes is on pace, throwing yardage, for 3,300 throwing yards. That wouldn't be bad if he's contributing rushing yards or or he's a run dominant team or something like that. No. He's just going to pass for 3300 yards. On top of that being a low amount, he's on pace. On pace. For 19 interceptions. <laughs> On top of that being on pace for 19 interceptions, he's on pace for only 16 touchdowns. <laughs> 3,300 passing yards, 16 passing touchdowns, 19 interceptions. That's not including fumbles. We're not talking total turnovers. And y'all want me to be scared of that? No! I'm not scared of that. The only thing that bothers me or, or, or gets or gets me a little like uh, are those are those zebras. And Mrs. Shake It Off that sits in the owner's box. But look, Patrick Mahomes has been special. Everyone, if you didn't know, there, there it goes. For the people that wait for this, you know what I'm saying? That's what's going on. Patrick Mahomes has been nothing short of amazing. He has showed up in the biggest games. His teams have won. The man has three Super Bowls. And he's trying to get three straight now to make it four. He's a two-time league MVP. Which is the only reason why Nick Wright all of a sudden is saying MVPs don't matter. Because if Lamar gets another one, he'd be over Mahomes. So that's why now, you, you remember that Nick Wright thing is belittling the MVP award now? Yeah. And <clears throat> these are, like, in totality, he has been a top three quarterback of all time. But this year, 
He hasn't been great. He hasn't been good. Matter of fact, he's been historically bad. I want to remind you, last game, he had a 44 passer rating. They won the game, yeah. But that's because somehow the other quarterback was even worse. He had 154 passing yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions for that game. The game before that, he had 331 passing yards, zero touchdowns, and one interception. Game before that, 245, one touchdown, one interception. Game before that, 217, two touchdowns, one interception, which that isn't a bad game. And then he had 151 passing yards in that game before that, Cincinnati, two touchdowns, two interceptions. He has been erratic, to say the, le to say the, the least. And this guy's going to help with that. But this guy isn't, he's not 2019 DeAndre Hopkins. As good as he might still be, he's not 2018 DeAndre Hopkins. He's not 2021 DeAndre Hopkins. You know where I'm coming from? And look, I know I said that, and I, and I said this, that look, he's going to put up stats. Yeah, his stats are going to get better. But Mahomes has been fleeting with that ball. He hasn't been good with the ball. He's been giving away the ball. So adding him and having um, Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey's played horrible this year so far. Travis Kelsey has been... I think Travis Kelsey is on pace for like 600 or 500 yards. Something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Travis Kelsey has 245, 245 receiving yards right now. No touchdowns. No touchdowns. He's on pace for like 600 receiving yards. So maybe him on the outside can open up more lanes and more throwing windows for a, tra a, 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 a Travis Kelsey. But to what end? What degree? I feel that Patrick and this offense, some of the concepts, people are reading them better. They become a little stale. I think people are keying in on Patrick's tendencies more. Hence why now you're seeing you're starting to see him run more. And I think that's a recipe a recipe for disaster. I truly do. And I think they're going to lose multiple games this year. They're not going undefeated. They're not. So even though this has happened, I think that the, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to have a back-to-back -back losing uh, at least that on in the next four weeks. I'm telling you. They're going to have at least that. <clears throat> and I, I think that I – listen – Honestly, I think the Kansas City Chiefs go 12-4. and four. I really do. I can see 12-4. and four, Or, I'm sorry. 12-5. and five. Forgot about the extra game. I'm sorry. I can see 12-5. and five Or 13-4 and four for them. They're going to start losing games. I'm telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all this. And once they start losing, they're going to try to overcompensate in some areas, and I feel like they're going to have to try to find a balancing act, especially when this guy starts humming. But that's where I'm at as a Raven fan. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. Everyone's scared. Everyone's like, oh, my God, it's not fair. And even I said, bro, that's so jacked up because they got him for a Happy Meal deal. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Patrick hasn't played great. And I don't want to hear he hasn't had weapons. Some of his weapons went down, but some of his other weapons he never even played with. He never played with Hollywood Brown. It's just he's been missing and overthrowing people and stuff. But we'll get to see how this works out. You know what I'm saying? We'll get to see. But like I said, I think they end 12-5, and 13-4 and four for the season. You know what I'm saying? And I think we'll have a shot at the, what's it called, at the number one seed in the AFC again. But what do you guys think? Were you excited? Are you saying, man, this is crazy? Are you scared of the acquisition of a DeAndre Hopkins? Let me know what you think down in the comment section, please. 
You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this team. But it's always. <gasps> That's the episode of the Wonderkind. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You don't love the comments. If you haven't done so, check out the one that controls Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content getting is waiting for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like to donate to this channel, help out with equipment and such stuff like that, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR code to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. Name of it is Money Sign, The Wonder Can Show. Super easy. But once again, it's The Wonder Can Show. This is your host, after signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Huh? Yeah. Finish him, Daddy.